Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, May 15, 2020. I'm Lisa Otto. Jen Lovkowski. And George Bush Jr. And the Geneva Shore Report. And here we are on Geneva Street, downtown Lake Geneva. We just want to feature all of the open businesses. The Maple Park Antique Store is open. So that's um, a great fun place to stop in. Frank's Original has their courtyard and um, well, I'm not sure if they have indoor seating yet, but of course mm -hmm. all their food is ready to go and easy to to eat as you're strolling through downtown Lake Geneva. Um, over on this side of the of the street of Broad Street, we have the board shop, which is open, and I know the Spice Company has been open. We have Haberdapper open, great. Um, Great men's clothing in that store, one of the best in town. I know Trey Bell is open as well. Not sure, but I do not know about Water Lily. And over on this side, of course, Avant has their coffee to go as well. I'm not sure when their indoor seating will begin, but eventually. Um, Cornerstone is open. And they've also labeled all of their items in the window displays with numbers so that you can do um, online shopping very easily. Lake Air is open across the street here. We are at the intersection of Broad and Main Street right now. And I know a lot of the stores down this end of Main Street, the east end of Main Street are open as well. Marigold and Edie. Well, and the traffic Blue is Beavers really picking up. Yep, and Everdry and 12th and Brown and Kilwins, Kilwins and Clearwater. And, oh, there's just so many. The, the town is waking up after, well, a little pandemic slumber. <laughs> um, and we're still waiting on Egg Harbor and pause for trees to open. Yes, Christine's on the other Which side Christine's of the street. Is open? Yes, it is. I well, we'll have to turn around and come back around that way because there's a couple more on that side. <laughs> Pop Belly is still doing their curbside. Okay, so now we're coming down Wrigley. And how's how's the kite store doing? Um, I don't think she's quite open yet. She will be. Her car is there. She's probably getting ready. We have people out on the Riviera Beach Pavilion area, which is fun. Oak Fire, yes. Oh, and I, they have a bunch of new t outdoor tables. Um, and oh, look at this. Speedos or Speedos um, Popeyes, Popeyes has all their tables set up by the new rotisserie rotisserie shack. And Wrigley Drive is filling up with cars. Oh, there's the beautiful fountain. And over here, Speedos has his outdoor seating set up as well. And I know his indoor seating has been set up and they've eliminated the amount of tables that they have in the restaurant to keep social distancing in place. But um, still plenty of room for people to come. Alright, we have a an ambulance coming down the road. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna head down this way to a uh, drive by the Lake Geneva boat launch area, which will be busy this weekend with the nice weather. And I believe our harbor master has. Yep. Our harbor master has also made sure all of the piers are accessible and open, so people are able to to venture out on them. They're gonna be. They're gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be a busy weekend, I'm sure. That's about lunch. We're still waiting on word from the Cove and Spruckers. I know a lot of people have missed Sparkers. Okay. 
All right, and now we are heading north on Center Street. Oh, Toss Bunny Books is open. And brick and mortar up ahead is open as well. I know Starbucks is still, this one is not open yet. Not sure how soon their Starbucks will be opening all of their stores, but their drive through facilities are still available. And we're going to be at this light a while, so I think we're going to wrap this up <laughs> and we'll share more of downtown Lake Geneva with you um, as the day continues. I'm Lisa Otto, John Lovecow, and George Bush, Jr., and the Geneva Show Report. Bye.